Welcome to this series of lessons on data visualization with R using ggplot. My name is Steve Baskoff. I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of the Gene and Alexander Heard Libraries at Vanderbilt Universities. If you have come to this video through some means other than our website, you may be interested to know that this is a part of a series of lessons called Code Graph, and you can learn more about those lessons by going to Vanderbilt dot lt slash code graph. Before we start on the lessons proper, I wanted to mention some reference materials that you may want to check out for additional information on this topic. The go-to book for this topic is R for Data Science. You can read R for Data Science free online by going to the link shown here there is a clickable link on the lesson webpage. There is also a print book that is available from O'Reilly, and you can also access it electronically through the Vanderbilt Library's O'Reilly subscription. This book is particularly cool because it has a picture of a kakapo on top, if you don't know what a kakapo is, you should find out by going to Wikipedia. You can also listen to an amazing series of podcasts called The Kakapo Files by Radio New Zealand. It's an amazing story of trying to save this cool species of flightless parrots. ggplot itself has a website, ggplot2.tidyverse.org. And from there, you can access various ggplot-specific resources, including a cheat sheet, which I will refer to through these lessons. You can click and view the cheat sheet directly in the browser from the first link. You can also go to the second, more generic RStudio cheat sheet link and download it as a PDF. If you want to go deeper into the theory that underlies ggplot. I highly recommend Hadley Wickham's 2010 paper called A Layered Grammar of Graphics. It's available as a preprint through Hadley's website. This will explain to you the reasons for the outlook on the grammar of graphics, and that is what we will be talking about in the first section of this lesson.